Hello, and welcome to the Spring V tutorial on Morphbox Mac. This is a voice modifying tool that we have just released to run on Mac OS. The software allows you to change your voice to a number of different target voices that you can listen to using headphones or speakers. Or it can be directly integrated with VOIP chat solutions such as iChat or Skype. That means you can morph your voice during any conversation, whether it's online or over the phone. For those of you who may be familiar with our PC version of Morphox, we've completely redesigned and built Morphox from the ground up to run natively on Mac OS X 10.6 and above. Morphox Mac takes advantage of the robust Apple Core Audio Engine with its low audio latency, great device handling, and extended file format support. Let's get started by looking at the basic voices that come with Morphox Mac. The voice you are hearing is my voice after it is modified using the man preset. It's a bit lower than my own voice. Here's my real voice for comparison. This is the child voice. The next one you won't be able to understand. It's the dog translator voice. Here's how it goes. <coughs> And now I'm a hell demon. <laughs> and the last item on the list is the woman preset. And back to the man voice. You have more than just six voices available to you. If you go to the tools menu, you have access to the voice pack manager, which allows you to browse, download, and install new voice packs conveniently from within the program. I'm going to try the Sci-Fi voice pack. If you click on this button, it will download the voice pack, and then you will see the voice pack showing up in the list here. I'll go through a couple of voices that I think are pretty cool. One of the voices is the droid voice. Droids will rule the universe. And the other one is the ever cute and annoying space squirrel. Now where did I put my nut? Okay, wasn't that fun? As time goes on, we'll be releasing even more of these preset voices, so make sure to check our website for more announcement and releases. For the second half of the video, I'll show you one feature that distinguishes Morphox Mac as a voice changer. You can directly link Morphox to other voice applications such as iChat, Skype, Ventrilo, or TeamSpeak. That's right. You can morph your voice online, or in the case of Skype, you can call a phone number and have your voice be morphed during the conversation. I'll show you how easy it is to set up Skype to work with Morphox Mac, and then I'll make a test call. I already have Skype running. Let's bring that up. First, go to the Preference menu over here. Click on Audio Video. Change the microphone to Morphox Audio. That's it. Now, with Morphox running, I will make a phone call using the Space Squirrel voice. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hey, this is Sammy the Squirrel. You stole my nut. I want it back now. Hey, this is Sammy the Squirrel. You stole my nut. I want it back now. So you can see how simple it is to integrate Morphox Mac with Skype. Okay, I think that's enough fun for one day. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.
For more information on more Fox Mac, please visit www.screenb.com/mac.